So I've been editing with iMovie for over three years now. And on my other channel, exclusively using iMovie to edit those videos, I've gained nearly 10,000 subscribers. Hold up. <laughs> my other channel is a gaming channel, where I've done so many different types of gaming videos on there. I've done epic type videos, funny moments, kind of unedited with just jump cuts, montages, just a whole lot of stuff. So I've kind of learned how to use iMovie pretty well. Plus, before that, I had a channel that was more like this, where I would just talk to the camera. So I kind of learned some things from that too, even though those videos kind of sucked because I was just starting. I like to think I've gained more iMovie knowledge. So yeah, one more thing before we actually go over to iMovie to edit um, a face-to-face -face video so I can show you guys how to do that. If you think this camera or video does not look good, it, it, it's my light's fault. It's not iMovie. You can export videos in 4K, 60 FPS, so it's not iMovie's fault. Blame my light. My light sucks. So let's head over to iMovie and let's do this. Alright, so it's, 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 a, it's a little bit later since the last clip. I had some um, technical difficulties. But anyways, let me show you guys how to edit a face-to-face -face type video in iMovie. So as you can see, this is the actual edited intro that I had to use for this one. So what this is, th th this is a good example I'm going to be teaching you. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to import music from YouTube or wherever you want it from. I'm gonna show you how to put overlays on your videos, how to zoom in. I'm also gonna show you how to make smooth transitions between jump cuts like this one. It's not iMovie's fault, blame my light. My light sucks. So let's head over to iMovie and let's do this. A smooth transition like that one, and then I believe I also have one that's pretty smooth somewhere around here as well. Right here, here's another smooth transition. Even though this video is kind of sucks, so I was just starting. I like to think I've gained more iMovie Knowledge. So yeah, one more thing before we actually go over to iMovie to- Yeah, smooth transitions like that. So overlays, smooth transitions, cutting down your videos into a bunch of different clips like this, importing music, sound effects, and yeah, let's do this. First thing you're gonna do is open up iMovie, obviously, create new, double click on movie, and there we go, we are in. I'm gonna be editing the clip that actually is in the intro for this tutorial. So it started around 1 minute 50 seconds, and I cut it down to- what was it, 50 seconds? I think, I th yeah, 50 seconds. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna right click on the footage and select detach audio. And there you go, you should be able to see this audio pretty clearly on the timeline. So next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in all the way right here and like this. So I've been using iMovie to, so I've been editing. Obviously I'm not gonna include that part cause I messed up, but um, so yeah, you can kind of tell the audio is a little bit off. It's not completely synced with my mouth. So what actually I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all this extra space I don't need. 1.7 seconds, get rid of that. Now I'm just gonna move this audio track. Maybe like four ticks forward. So I've been using iMovie to so I've been editing. That already looks a lot better and it actually matches my lips. <laughs> now obviously I have, that was not in the intro, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out. If I'm not talking in a video, I normally don't like keeping it. So what I'm gonna do is you can see all the space and then you see the sun spiking the audio track right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and split right before this audio track so I start talking again. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all of the extra stuff I didn't need beforehand. So I've been editing with iMovie for over three years now. That looks like a keeper, so you know what I'm gonna do? It's once again, empty space. I don't like keeping parts where I'm not talking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split a clip there and split it right here. So now I just have one clip of me not talking and I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. So now we got a jump cut. And on my other channel, Pretty easy. Once again, not, not that it really matters. I can make another quick little jump cut. Keep the video going fast paced. There we go. We got another moment of big space. But so yeah, you get the point by now. Basically remove the parts where you're not talking because it's not very interesting. So go just go ahead and remove all of those parts with empty space you don't like. Now this might seem familiar from the intro. Go ahead and remove everything you don't want in your final product right now. Now if, it's, if, if your video recording is like 10 minutes, you don't have to do it all right now. But I, I'd like to go ahead and get rid of all the stuff I don't need. So... For example, I start talking again right here. So let's get rid of all of this empty space. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do all this. Also, something real fast. You can hear that um, I, I normally don't like to include it because it doesn't add any value to your actual video. So I go, I like to go ahead and get rid of all of those words that don't really mean anything just like um while you're thinking of what to say next okay. unless you don't do that then good for you but if you do do that i recommend removing those from your video go ahead cut out all the parts you don't want of empty silence unless for comedic effect you want to keep an empty silence part which can happen quite a bit those messed up so you just uh couldn't speak english <laughs> yeah yeah i guess so i'm gonna go ahead and do that right now as well all right so i've just removed every single part of the video that i do not want in there and at this point if you're happy with the way the video is already at you don't have to continue however if you want to kind of step up your video a little bit i recommend keep watching so we just got a few quick jump cuts so just keep the video moving along right now now you 
Now you might be wondering why, actually you're probably not wondering, you saw it in the intro. I'm gonna do some sort of funny little thing here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also show you guys how to zoom in right now. So what you're gonna do is right now I wanna split the clip where I'm not talking. Actually, let me zoom in all the way. I'm gonna split the clip to where I'm not talking. All right, so right here, I'm clearly not talking. Actually, I'm just gonna get rid of that. All right, so I have a clip where I'm, there's no audio track. If I were to drag it out, there's nothing, so I wasn't talking there. I wanna do a zoom in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the video, select the cropping tool up here, cropping, hit crop to fill. Ken Burns, you can use it like if you wanna do a zoom in like this. So let's just do this. So this is, this is what Ken Burns would be used for. I'm not gonna use it right now, but just so you see what it does. It's like, it just, it's that pretty. That's, that's not what I that's not what I was trying to say. <laughs> so it's just a pretty cool way to zoom in. I use it all the time in my other channel for comedic effects. But what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna go back to the cropping tool, and we're just gonna use crop to fill, and I'm gonna zoom in on my cute doge. And there we go. So then I say, hold up, because the dog wants to be let out. Obviously, later on, I'm gonna show you guys how to add overlays of my dog saying, let me out, or whatever it was. Hold up. <laughs> now my other channel- All right, and as you can see right here, I kind of have a nice little laugh. Well, let me turn it up just so you guys can hear it. <laughs> right here, I don't really need that in the video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a, some sort of smooth transition. So I'm actually gonna drag this over here. Cause when I say hold up, hold up, <laughs> I'm gonna drag this out a little bit more. Once I say hold up, that part's kind of done. You don't need to see me physically laughing. However, you can still have that audio, and it will actually segue into a really smooth transition. Just listen. Hold up. And my other channel to get. Pretty smooth. All right, so right here, you probably saw this part in the intro. Um, yeah, listen to this. Gain more iMovie knowledge. All right, so right here I say knowledge, and I kind of have a, so I'm sort of uh, then I have some, then I'm in some sort of position. And when I'm in some sort of position like that, what I actually like to do to make a smooth transition is let's just extend this clip just a little bit, just barely. You don't want it to be too long. You don't really want it to be longer than 0.2 seconds. So let's split it right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the audio track from the next clip and start it a little bit early. And now what you wanna do is you want this audio to be lined up at the back of this clip. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the front and start shortening it until the audio is all lined up, like I believe it is. There we go. So now listen to this smooth transition. Knowledge. So yeah, one more thing before we- For, Yeah, like I said, pretty smooth. All right, once again, I've got some sort of position thing right here. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Make another smooth transition. Expand this just a little bit. All right, there we go, 0.2 seconds. Same exact thing. Bring this right here, and then make sure the back of the audio track and the video file line up. There we go. And once again, we have another smooth transition. Light sucks. So let's head over to iMovie and let's do this. Let's this is a good spot to leave it. You have smooth transitions. You may have done a zoom in. I just want to show you that because I did it in my intro. So I was like, you know what? I might as well show them how to do a zoom in. However, we're going to once again take it to the next level. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to add some overlays. So what you're going to actually do is you're, you can open up Google Chrome and go to, you go to footage create dot Huh, as you can see, I've, I've been here before. So once you're here, you're gonna have to log in and register. I'm actually gonna go ahead and log in right now. I already have an account. All right, so as you can see, I'm logged in, comment 360. Hover over VFX and media elements. As you can see, there's a bunch of visual effects, magic powers, muzzle flashes, tune anime effects, explosions. This goes on. A lot of cinema, lots of action, superhero movie type things going on right here. And if you're gonna do that, I honestly would not recommend using iMovie for that kind of thing. It's kind of difficult to edit like an actual straight up movie with iMovie. So yeah, don't, I, I don't recommend that at all. So what we're more into is we're into the MoGraph and editing. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna go to buttons and icons. We're gonna go to modern social media. Now real fast, look at this one. This looks clean. Just pop up in your video to be able to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. However, you need to upgrade to Pro if you want to download this. That's what the star means. So we cannot download that one. However, this subscribe one, looking pretty nice out here. And I actually have this one already downloaded. As you saw in the intro, I already used that one. So I, this is one I would recommend downloading. But there's something else I want to download while I'm here. All right, so right now I'm on the YouTube section. I'm going to go to call to actions. And then is it, I believe it's here. Yes, link in description. And speaking of link in description, the link to this website's in the description. All right, so all you have to do to download is I'm going to click on this, hit download. And as you can see, it's HD 1080p. Pretty good. So I'm going to hit download. Then it should pop up down here. So as you can see, it's downloaded. So I'm going to just hit this up arrow, hit show and finder. And then there we go. It is right here. Confused why it's a .zip file. Open up the .zip file. I, I, I guess, I did not know that. And then you can simply drag it on your timeline somewhere. Let's say I did a plug right here. I did it, I'm just gonna show you how to use this. So what you can do is you're gonna click on this. 
you're gonna go to the crap tool make sure it is set to fit sometimes it might automatically be on ken burns you don't want that though because then it'll just zoom in which you don't really want most of the time so anyways now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to this video overlay settings tool so i'm gonna click on that and right now, cutaway, it's kind of fine. But let's say I wanted to have this link in the description message just in, in the bottom left corner. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to click on cutaway, and you can see there's a bunch of options. You can have a green screen, removal type thing. You can set to split screen. I'm going to select picture in picture. And now, like I said, if I just want to put this in the bottom left corner, which I would never do with this type of thing, but with the subscribe button, that's exactly what I would do. This stock thing, in the intro, I said I had a let me out. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that once again right now. So I'm going to drag this photo in, and I'm just going to shrink this down to a really short size, bring it over here, and then just make sure it only takes up this part where it's going to be zoomed in on the dog, and right now it is. So select the cropping tool, and normally photos that you bring in, they'll start on Ken Burns. However, what I've done, if you go to iMovie, then preferences, I've made it so that my photo placement just normally stays on fit. It's just easier for me, but by default, it will go to Ken Burns. And if you don't want that, I'd recommend changing it to fit. All right, so anyway, now that this is in fit, you're gonna go back to the video overlay settings tool. Go to picture in picture. And I think I just want this right here. Now, if you're wondering why I'm using this and not iMovie's own titles thing, if we actually go to titles, you can kind of see all these things. You've got expand, reveal, and you're like, okay, those look pretty fine. What kind of why aren't you using them? So when you bring them in, let me actually bring this one in. Let me just say, let me put the let me out on here as well. Let me out. There's no actual way to move where you want this text to be. So for example, I want this one in the top left corner. You can't do that with iMovie's text tool. Wherever it showed on this preview, that's where it's gonna be in the actual video. There's, there's, there's nothing you can do about it. So if you wanna know how I actually got this uh, let me out text, what I did is I went to Google Chrome and I went to cooltext.com. I went to fonts, and then I selected a certain font category. I can't remember which one I did. Let's just go all caps for now. I increased the text size to 500, because here's the thing. If you were to export this image with the original 75, or was it 50? I'm not quite sure. The original text size, when you put it into a program like iMovie or some sort of, or let's say you're making a thumbnail, some sort of thumbnail editing software, it will start off really small. And when you try expanding it, it will lose quality. So I like to start mine off really big. And then when I put it into a video file, it's already a pretty good quality. And if I enlarge it, it, it will lose some quality, but not too much. So what I did, I went to logo, start color here, end color here. And then I upgraded the outline width to, I believe, 10, not 100. Something like that. And then I literally just put, let me out. And there we go. It should be displayed right here. So all I did is I hit right click, save image as you should know the rest so there we go that's why i got the text and that's why i got this little effect right here that i kind of like so now the next thing we're gonna get some music in here a lot of things i hate about youtube and i'm sure everyone does it's the copyright system i've been copyrighted so many times by youtube it's kind of annoying in fact a video i posted the day i'm recording this video i also uploaded a video and it got copyrighted i could it was an easy fix but you know still annoying nonetheless so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to youtube and we're going to go to Hold up, let this load. We're gonna go to Stream Beats by Harris Heller. And there we go. This is a bunch of non copyrighted music. So I'm just gonna open the playlist and I'm just gonna browse until I like find something I like. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like a lot of these. But every once in a while you'll stumble across something pretty good, like I used in the intro. That was from the Stream Beats by Harris Heller. So like what I do is I click on a random track, skip to 30 seconds, and give it a listen. This one's actually pretty good. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this URL, copy it, open up a new tab, or replace that current tab. You don't need it anymore. Look up YT to MP3. Click this. And then this is a YouTube video to MP3 converter. So we can actually use this video as an audio file in iMovie. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste the link here, hit convert, and we just have to wait for this to load. All right, so now that's done, all you have is download. You do not need that tab to be opened up. Once again, hit the up arrow, hit show and I in finder, my bad. And there we go, star searcher. Let's drag this into the timeline. Oh yeah, also turn down the volume a little bit. You do not want it at 100%. Well, I'm gonna skip to the good part because I don't need that beginning part where it's all quiet. I just want the good part because especially for an intro like this, this intro is one minute long, so I don't need a bunch of 
good music. I see one minute of solid background. So yeah, guys, that is how you edit some sort of face-to-face -face video. We have the overlays, we have smooth transitions and jump cuts to keep the video going along pretty quickly. And we have music in there as well. So if you guys want me to make another iMovie tutorial, let me know in the description. And let me know what you want it to be about. If some of my balance viewers are here, I'm tempted to make a video on just my editing process for balance. Where I just, I'll record balance video and I'll record the process of me editing it. And I'll kind of just explain my thought process throughout. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. So yeah, this has been Connor. I hope this was somewhat helpful for you guys. Um, if you're just here to support me for my balance channel, I guess thank you. And uh, yeah, that's really it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.